Okay, time to put on my thinking cap. This is a 1986 Ford LTD Crown Victoria model with some Mustang wheels. And uh, it's got a drivability issue. Let's see here. One for the ignition, one for the door. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Nope. Good thing the security system is turned off. There. Oh, this one's fancy. Electric sliding couch. Ah, check it out. That's cool. All right, I don't have much info here to tinker with. Uh, my note says, I don't even know if you guys can see, there's a lot of glare. It says vehicle stalls after sitting and running head motor replaced. Okay, so I've got no info except it stalls sometimes. Let's get it into the shop so I can get out of the sun glare. Well, it starts. That's a bonus. Oh, whoa. It just tried to die. I felt it sputter. Nice dash. Now I hear that there are some new ignition components in the trunk, but um, I don't think that's it. Let's just hang out here for a minute and see if this thing dies or not. Whoa, all right, dies and you give it gas. It's cammed. Whoa. Let's try again. Like it wants to live. Openings are hood. Uh, or not. Oh, come on, this is a bad start. It's not hood popping. But I heard the latch. Na, 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 hmm. Hey, Peter. Yeah. Will you come pull the hood release thing on this uh, thing? Yeah. Okay, I'll wait here. Yeah, just pull and hold the hood release so I can so I can bang it. Hmm. Keep saying it, brother. It's not working. Pry bar. Need a plastic pry bar. What do we got? Uh, I choose. I choose this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pull it again, please. Who's holding it? Well, we're not going to do anything if I can't get the hood open. Oh, come on. It's not working. Okay, and there's only one thing to do. Remove the grill and then try to manipulate the hood latch until it comes loose. We are off to a I won't call it a bad start, but um, this is uh, certainly somewhat frustrating. I have to like do work so I can try to do work. Oh well. Aha! You have gained access. This would never fly like this on a newer car. Not a chance. All right, let's see what the dealio is. Okay, so here's the cable coming in and I can reach around and actuate the lever. So it's, it's release mechanism has been actuated, but it's not, still isn't popping. So let's try to go in there and pry bar this some. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty solid. It does not want to move in the slightest. Grenades? No. No, I do like that. I, I think grenades. Holy shit, you got the grill off. Okay, this is gonna be a hell of a lot easier. No, it's family channel, potty mouth. Uh, this is going to be uh hellacious. <laughs> you you funny guy, you. Um anger. Frustration is building. Okay. More pry bar? 
Yeah, this thing's not wanting to go anywhere. Yeah, stick this screwdriver in that little slot. No. Yeah. No. Giggity. Why are you invading me? I'm but, trying but, to help you do a job. I'm about to unbolt it. I'm just going to unbolt the entire little thingamajigger there. And that's not going to work. Yeah, the latch is junk. Oh, so the latch is sealed. The latch is stupid stuck. Ooh, let's lubricate it. Let's spray. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So right. I already tried to pry up on it while actuating the latch, and uh, that proved to be ineffective. Here, we'll just lube everything. I don't even. I don't even know. I'm just, just going to saturate the entire area. It's better when it's wet. Always. Okay. Here, push, push down on the hood. Yeah, still not, not moving. Where's that little uh, screwdriver? You got a little flathead screwdriver? Yeah. I see a metal piece. Let me try to manipulate that. Okay. Yeah, what do we do? Well, there's I do see some bolts in there. I, I suppose I'm gonna try to unbolt this uh, This hood latch and just take it out as a, a whole assembly. I okay. hate that smell. Every time I'm in the dentist's office when I smell that, I it know does, that about to It does trouble. smell like bubblegum dentist stuff. All right, well something moved. That helped. Here, hold my nuts. Oh, yeah. There you go. Hmm. Need more lumens. Dude, your nuts are rusty as hell. Got more stuff moving. Uh, I can't get that one. Is it on the thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's still on there. Look at that. Rocket surgery. Science. It is science. Okay. Hey, the hood's gonna open. It's super fancy. Begin opening your hood. Did it work? Whoa, be careful or you can break the cable. It's still attached. Kinda. Wow, that's stuck in there like hardcore even though... Um... <laughs> now what do we do? Start disconnecting springs? No. No, it's rusted. Yes. I mean, I don't care if the guy put a motor here let me get me in here I'm trying to see what's going on Ow. that's the releasing mechanism right there that thing um pry bar this is gonna be a challenge for me I bet I could make an entire YouTube video just about opening a hood taking that spring off? I'm trying it. I think the lube helped. Stuff's moving. No, not the spring. Oh, that was brutal. Got it. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm done. See you guys later. Okay. Ah, flashlight gravity. Well, I was wrong again. This thing's not even close to being carbureted. Must be like the first 5.0 fuel injected ever made. Yeah, so my initial uh, guesstimations of what the issue was are completely wrong and now I need to figure out what the deal is with this car Oh, now I'm really up a creek without a paddle. There's no pluggy plug thing from my scanner that tells me what's wrong with the car uh, What do we do? What do we do? I don't know Send it to the dealer. Okay, first things first. I want to check fuel pressure at uh, it Felt like a fuel related issue to me, so let's just stick a gauge on there and see what our fuel pressure is. Save that for later. And let's screw this guy on. Click. All right, let's go back around into the cabin starting the engine and uh, see what this fuel pressure gauge tells us. Uh, you stay. Uh, zero pounds of fuel pressure. Okay, let's open the valve and make sure there's fuel flowing. Or at least to the gauge. Yeah, I don't know. 
I got a little bit. I just saw that. I just saw it move. Uh, let's hang this. Yeah, we'll hang that right there. All right, so we got five pounds. Looks like it. I don't know if that's enough. Probably not enough. Let's make sure it actually got fuel. It was flowing through gravity. Fuel pressure great. Yeah, there's fuel there. Okay. So it was getting fuel. Let's go check the spec and uh, see if five pounds is enough. Looks like we got a winner. 86 Ford LTD Crown Vic with a five liter. Uh, key on engine off 35 to 45 PSI engine running 27 to 37 uh, Running vacuum. Oh, I have to disconnect the regulator, but uh, yeah five pounds is not enough So we have a fuel delivery. Okay after discovering that we need five pounds of uh, or only have five pounds of fuel pressure uh, We have communicated that to the uh, fellow that owns this car and uh, he is going to replace his own fuel pump and fuel filter. So our work is done here. Uh, we have fixed the hood issue with uh, some pry bits and a little bit of lubricant and diagnosed the running concerned. Um, I guess they're gonna tow this thing back to where it came from because they're sure not going to drive it. Flashlight recovery. We'll just get a little bit more spray in there just to make sure it stays unstuck. And uh, my work is done here. While I proceed to reassemble this grill, in closing, I want to thank all of you guys for watching this video. And I want to let you know that I certainly do appreciate it. The only thing I would ask of you is that if you like this video, to please communicate that to me effectively by tappy tapping the like button down below. Drop me a comment or two while you're down there. And before I go, and before you go, I want to remind all you guys to not forget have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. Ending transmission now.